Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So, we have here the True Pirate Warrior King. Uh, at this point, by the time this video goes up, you probably would have seen the Garb video and the Roger video. Uh, so now we're going to take Rayleigh into this. And that's going to round out this. I've been saying it in multiple other videos too. Um, in the video before, the, I think Garb, I, in that long play video. I mentioned how you guys should comment down below who else you want to see in to take on this stage. Because this stage is pretty difficult. Uh, Garp and Roger both struggled a bit. That could be just because obviously I don't have a real a real tactic yet. I'm not, you know, I'm also not the you know speed run king, so I'm not the best in terms of like uh, speed running. I did see some somebody already uh, get like a, a quick like on a six minute run, which is pretty crazy. It may, I'll probably put up the picture here just so you can try to check them out. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not thinking about speed running yet. I'm just kind of thinking about clearing stuff and seeing how fast the enemies kind of go down with you know each character's kind of uniqueness but yeah regardless i kind of want to see how Rayleigh does here roger did pretty well garp his special attacks carried him a lot i think uh uh tactically he's probably using special moves but yeah after him after Rayleigh, this video i'm probably gonna do like gear 5 luffy on sunday and stuff and then after that i'm gonna probably just you know move down the dlc characters let me know who you want to see take on this from any of these characters i know i know i know i know i know um yes even him i know but yeah let me know who you want to see take on this uh you know the stage whether it's doc characters or um even from here obviously but yeah let's get into it okay here we go i think Rayleigh's is gonna have an interesting time here because of his uh mechanic See how obviously I think he's gonna do less damage in a character like Garb, but we'll see. I'm just gonna go into this real quick. God damn it, Marco. Okay. Okay, everyone's like right here. Dude, I feel like I'm barely doing any damage to the... <laughs> I didn't... Okay, well. It's not going good. <laughs> I feel like I'm like... I have all these like... Okay, well there goes Marco, so that's good. Hopefully that kills Ace. Okay, okay, all three of them. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, let's see. Okay. Oh, that that caught Katakuri. Oof, I, if I didn't do my special there, I probably would have been then. Jeez, Big Mom, can you? Her freaking endurance is insane. Ah, oh, she transformed. Should be fine. Yeah, so what, I, what I'm rocking is pretty much the same build as per usual. Um... Cheat death and the uh, you know and the like and stuff like that. I'm not gonna lie, Rayleigh's pretty impressive right now. Even though I took a lot of damage, I think uh, I mean to be fair, that's probably cheat death uh, helping us out right here and undying. 
Did I? Uh, I think I put concentration as well. I thought. I think that's a big uh, deal for this. I have to be careful with Kaido here. Yeah, Rayleigh, the one thing I think that's better than Garb when it comes to Rayleigh is that Rayleigh has a dedicated or a better like guard break like situation going on. Ray, uh, not Roger, uh, Garp has some issues with that, but I think, I think like as you see here, this second combo string really, really like takes them to town. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Obviously, I think uh, in general his damage output is a little bit lower than a character like um, Roger, for sure. I'm just gonna do this to save. But I think his guard break, his range, his speed as well is better than Garp. Like, if I were to be probably objective, I think I probably like Garp maybe more. Um, in terms of like, just because I, I like how crazy his AoEs are. But I can't lie, like, really. Okay, oh my god, wow. Okay, what's juggling? Hello? Okay. And we are back! <laughs> I, that was kind of just annoying because I felt like the run was going pretty good. I just got stunlocked, unfortunately, and I didn't realize like where I was getting stunlocked from. I was just kind of getting just decimated without me knowing from... <laughs> that's Logius. That's Logius for you, though. Like, every time I have to fight a Logia, I have to deal with that crap. Okay, they're all here. Start doing some damage on my specials. Yeah, this special is really good because obviously you have characters like Ace or Marco or whatever that are Logia, like, you know, whatever, but they are so annoying with their, like, just in general, like, uh, invincibility, but having a special that reduces essentially, like, the armor for everyone in the vicinity is so helpful. So what I did was I changed a little bit of my special to be, um, I think I removed the triangle enhancement that I had on. I feel like that hit nothing. <laughs> I got rid of the triangle attack enhancement in favor of putting concentration. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, su I'm surprised all of them are alive. What, like, there we go, Jesus. Because I feel like, um, again, the beginning is really rough for these characters. Okay, getting through... I mean, even the Admiral stage is pretty difficult. Let's do this.
Yeah, this should kill. Probably caught a curry and big mom. Or all of them. Well, maybe not cracker. Okay, well, it actually, the reverse of what I said. back kind of like where we so it looks like every am i right yeah so every big boss so like the fodder don't really drop anything at least from what i'm seeing like you know the hawkins and the cracker katakuri and all that they don't really drop anything it's mainly the okay i'll be careful not gonna lie jack can jack can be really annoying if you let him like get to you um, but yeah, um, I switched uh, stuff to be more special attack focused, I think. Um, so it's it's basically full offense. There is no healing. Um, it is full just undying and, and all that stuff. So I do think, if I'm correct, if I, if I remember actually, Rayleigh can uh, recover... Rayleigh can recover health by uh, his taunt, I believe. Cool. So I'm gonna try that now, actually. Nope, I was wrong. Garp is the one that can recover health. I thought when he drank, I, I don't know, I completely forgot that he didn't recover health, but it's fine. Looked like I had a spotlight on me. I'm not really using his like actual like gimmick power too much. I know, you know, before anyone calls it out, I don't really feel the need to like do it. Like, Honestly, I probably just have to get through this part and I'm probably okay. I think this part of real talk is probably the... Hello? Oh, damn, I can't even... Damn. I mean, there we go. I mean, yeah, I'm using it a little bit. I'm using it a little bit. I think what would be cool for the future of this game in terms of DLC is if they do costumes, man. No shot of interrupting my special attack, man. Really? Bruh. I, I hate that it does that, man. I forgot that it that, that, that they interrupted. But yeah, like costumes would be like really cool, man. Just like, like maybe some characters can get like some updates or something. Like I don't know, man. Just something. I don't need like full like. If we get another DLC, like, I wouldn't want to get like a, a Zoro DLC. You know, what I mean? you know what I mean by that? Like, I wouldn't want to get like, uh, even though King of Hell would be awesome. It kind of feel like a wasted slot when we could have like you know like Douglas Bullet or 
you know, more film characters instead of getting like a variation of another character we have already in game. So far, Rayleigh's good. I mean, I, I died off the first time because I just got, I, I was too overconfident. And I, honestly, I might die here again. Um, but I think Rayleigh in himself, he has great guard break. Um, I gotta be careful though. Cause... But he has like an ability to bring people towards him. Uh, he's a he's he's a Logia killer. The reason why I struggle with the Logias at, the, at that point with Kizaru and uh, Akainu is because this is obviously like a really difficult and hard stage. But if obviously if I slapped on something like Indomitable Spirit, you know, just something to. Um, you know, something like that where like I don't have to worry about my health and all that. I think this obviously would be much easier. But I kind of like to test myself when I take these stages because, you know, the game is, is for the most part pretty easy, right? So having having to, having a way to kind of test yourself is pretty cool, I think, personally. Oh, wow, they made it all the way here. I'm, I'm low-key taking a long time if they made it here. But hey, they're kind of grouped up, so I'll take it. I do wish that special was like a bit cooler. Okay, can I move? Right, if I'm going quiet, it's because I am trying to like focus a little bit, make sure I'm not getting cooked. Yeah, this should kill Shanks and Odin. Hey, at least it came to me. That means I don't have to run as far to come back. Yeah, we're almost there. Now we have, yeah, Luffy and them to come in. Okay, we got this, we got this. I'm just trying to like Oh well they, they do they all have the thing already on them. Okay, cool. I was just trying to like line them up. Almost there though. Almost there. Oof. But I swear, every time I'm recording this, I'm like always, I always end up like just fighting for my life, man. And honestly, that's what makes it thrilling. Like, I don't, if I had Indomitable Spare, I could just be like, oh, let me just, you know, let me just get my, um, what's it called? Let me just get my, you know, my full force burst. I'll heal everything up. Don't worry. All good. And honestly, that's kind of like what I'm doing here anyway, but for combat reasons. Who knows? I might die. We'll see. If Luffy drops either a full thing of health or or whatever, we'll see. I can't even see.
get them all with the Conqueror's Hockey. And I think I could probably kill them all here. This has this move has a lot of range. Yep. Oh, that's, uh, I think that should be enough, hopefully. Got another thing of health there. Okay, here we go, the finale. I think I feel, I feel more at ease with Rayleigh than I did with Garp. If that makes sense. Like, I feel like with Garp, it was kind of like... Oh, crap, oh, crap, I need my specials. Okay, I need to move back. Rayleigh is kind of the same, but because I can almost always confidently break some, like, like break their guard, I feel more comfortable than when I did with Garp. Because Garp was just like, okay, if I don't break their guard and make them vulnerable, I'm kind of like. Here, I'm just like, okay, I walk up to them, square, square, triangle, boom. And then, and it's kind of cool too, cause it's like, a, oh, okay, you gotta be careful. It's kind of cool too, cause it's kind of like a callback to, you know, when he first taught Luffy about um, hockey, cause like it's 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 the, it's like the little hand that he did when he, when the elephant was about to hit him. Okay, I needed that. Boom. Oof. Not gonna lie, I love <laughs> my breath there at the end. Um Man, these are just so fun. I, I like that, man. Oof, I like I like that I have to like hold my breath, take it, you know, take it easy. You know, I I, I love the challenge of that. Um, again, I'm not the pro's player, but obviously, if you know, you can have a smoother ride with characters. I think Rayleigh's really strong, man. Like really, really good. I think his weakness and probably damage output is not that bad. Because he still does a lot of damage, um, but his actual, you know, his actual, like, guard break and uh, ability to basically insta-guard break anyone, you combine that with the new skill that makes people take longer to, you know, recover, I think that's, like, a really cool uh, build for him, and his special attacks do hit pretty hard, and the, the other special attack, like, the wide range of slashes destroys their guard as well, even in Logia form. So it's a really powerful technique. I think Rayleigh is probably the second best, maybe. I'm not entirely sure if I want to fully commit to saying that, but um, I think before I do the tier list, probably for maybe, well, tier list could go something, then after that I'll do more uploads, but um, the tier list, I I'm already thinking, obviously Roger, S+, plus, like he's like top three, one in the game, personally. Number two would probably, or like from this DLC pack, would probably be Rayleigh. And then number three would probably be Garp. Um, I think Rayleigh and, and Roger are just better um, than Garp. But yeah, overall, let me know what you all think about this in the comment section down below. Did you like what you saw from Rayleigh? Are you enjoying Rayleigh the most out of the three? Who do you like um, from this DLC pack? Do you like Rayleigh's kind of uh, vacuum technique? I think it's pretty cool. I didn't really take effect of it too, too much here. Because